For many North Texas parents, finding a ride to school for their children has become a lot more complicated because of a nationwide bus driver shortage. Kennedy is live in Plano, where the district says to expect delays for the foreseeable future. Kennedy. Hey, Karen, good morning. Yes, there was a bus driver shortage before the pandemic actually happened, but now things have just gotten a lot worse. And that's because, in part, many of the school bus drivers are older, which puts them at a higher risk for COVID, so they just did not want to come back. And let's not forget that many of them were actually left without work when schools uh, shut down. Now, in Massachusetts, the shortage is so bad, the governor is actually activating the National Guard. 90 members are now training to transport school kids. In Virginia, administrators say this is the worst shortage they have ever faced. The district is now paying new bus drivers a $3,000 sign-on bonus. Now, back home in North Texas, Garland ISD leaders are taking their incentives a step further. In a special report this week, Andrea Lucia told us on top of a monetary bonus, it's actually going to establish its own driving school so that it can train, test, and certify drivers for their CDL in-house. We are going to become a third party vendor of that test. So we will hold your hand, take you to the test. I will personally make you a pie. With more families moving to North Texas, and that means more kids are now in schools, that demand for drivers is most likely just going to keep increasing. Here in Plano, uh, school officials are urging all families to check their website daily to see if they are undergoing any delays. Reporting live, Kennedy Walker, CBS 11 News. Thank you, Kennedy.